<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm with Dalmont, and I think we've got Prime with us. Yeah. I'm on. And we're going to be taking a quick look at the progress on Dalmont Station. Is this your entry? It certainly is. One of probably a few. And this is. Uh, and it is still a bit of a work in progress. The uh, name, in a nutshell, is Outpost Eleven. So there is currently a uh, competition on for a build for a station which will be replacing NPC, uh, pirate, and trade guilds for the uh, vanilla release. So the winners of that competition, I guess, are going to be um, put into the game proper. So yeah, this is going to be one of the entries, I guess. I'm hoping to look at lots of these. We haven't had anyone come to show us any yet, but I guess the comp's so new that uh, we haven't actually had the time to have many of them finish. So I'm loving all the detailing you've put in underneath here. Gives it a real mechanical true, man. feel. And yeah, I um, actually lost last night three and a half hours of work on this station. I have to give a lot of credit to Phantom for helping me uh, put all the beds back where they belonged. Very good. It, uh, it was very, very time consuming. Um, but hey, this, Dalmont, this is... that thing's beautiful. Thank you. I like how you use the little bits underneath that are like the normal stations that we've got at the moment. Little lights coming down off the top pod. On the little stalactites, I guess. Aerials, you could call them. Probulators, in, in homage to the uh, current neutral station. Let me give you guys some quick facts. Uh, this thing has a little bit over half the blocks of the existing neutral station. Uh, it is almost the same in every dimension except the vertical. It is also half the price of the existing neutral station. It's cheaper. So half the half price. price. Half price, half block count. Uh, all one meter wider, one meter longer, and the only place it is uh, slightly bigger is vertically. Huh. Okay. That is of course in the current patch. So where do I re where do you recommend I get in? There's only one place and that would be the hangar. Okay. So which one's open? Take your pick, mate. Okay. I'm going in. Oh wow, it is. It's, look, it's just like Eve Online. I can dock here. And spin your ship. And spin my ship <laughs> around. Everyone look, look, see? Fourteen ninety nine a month. Anyway. Definitely take a look down. You're going to want to make oh, sure you look I need into to do that this. great area. But remember, no build none. Right, wait for it. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, it's just, just like Eve. There we go. Outstanding. Yay! <laughs> there you go, eh? Not enough spin. Please nerf. Please buff. Right. So where's, like where's gravity? <laughs> oh, do I have to go up here? Wait, what? Yep, just stand in the purple. Stand in the purple. Stand oh the boy! Purple don't move. You should uh, see that you're now facing a door, perhaps? Um, oh, in the center. Yeah, there maybe it's a door. Open her up. Oh! And, oh, uh -oh. No, didn't quite close. Oh! You've no, made some kind of crazy weapon. Keep oh. riding the uh, keep riding the walls. Eventually, it'll close the door. I promise. There, there you go. go. Oh my goodness, that was a wild a bit ride. Of agency, but uh, not, none more is for wear. So, uh, welcome to the main level. Hmm. Uh, this is definitely one I plan to submit uh, as a uh, trading guild station as, as well. Uh, so this is kind of the main like research uh, bazaar area, if you will. The rings I kept a little bit sparse. Um, I may do a little bit more interior in here in the future. For the moment, uh, I'm just going to do uh, kind of these little areas. Uh, I'll leave this kind of open to uh, player development. I'm going to do a couple different versions actually. One with uh, one with a full interior, May and one with just player development. This chair though. <laughs> what do you know about chairs? What do you know about benches? <laughs> what do you know about benches? Wow. 
a legitimate chair. I love it. You're a dumb lad. You should, you should stop showing off. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's in the blood, but I don't know. I, I still have a, a lot of things oh, I don't yeah. like about it that I want to want to keep working on. Like how um, dark it is? Yeah, that's the big one. Is um, that is like that said, a new thing, or is that just the... Because obviously I haven't seen this in the previous... Yeah, the darkness is a new thing. It was a little bit brighter. Yeah. Uh, it is a bit aesthetically pleasing in, in one way, and that is you see out the windows. I mean, it's almost like one big, awesome-looking observation hallway, but yeah. that's no excuse. Don't worry. Lighting coming, patch 2.0, what have you. I wouldn't be able to know where you were if I couldn't see the little lights on your uh, uniform there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> But I think with the new lighting options and shadows, it you'll is, be it able to put. You, yeah, but you can put more lights in, is what I'm saying. Like uh, you'll also notice up at yeah. the top, uh, up at the top here, there is a respawn module. So this does have the potential to respawn station. If you can get up there. And well, the the idea no, is that you come down, but you don't get back up. Oh. Yeah, once you once you've set it once, you don't really want to. You know. I'm loving the trees, man. Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> we've got. He's just noticed. We've got trees, and you've got emeralds in the trees. I guess well, it's not called that in this though. Lol. Green crystal, and over here oh, yeah? we've got orange crystal. In the in the uh, desert. I guess. Nice cactus. Indeed. And then we've got the ice biome. The ice biome has Y holes. No, nope, those are uh, that's ice crack. Yeah, whatever. Fear not. Yeah, whatever. I know you just froze them. So we got the purple. And these could be. What? Why have you put ice grass on the purple planet, man? Well, those are ice. <laughs> it's just purpticles. Good stuff. <laughs> You'll notice a severe lack of that thing, which shall not be named. Yes, uh, there is nothing here. <coughs> I, I can neither con there are no... I can neither confirm nor deny whether or not there may be Easter eggs involving them elsewhere <laughs> that are uh, inaccessible in astronaut mode. Um, so. Oh really? Is it like that? There. Is it? I'll let I'll let you I'll let you see it after the stream, Tom. Okay. Um, you have to pardon the build block. I just set that down to. Uh, no data. Have a look. At I hope that the uh, yeah. the signs get kept on the save as well because that would be awesome. I'm really hoping that they're going to be propagating. So all in all, anything else to see here? Um, honestly, not in particular. Uh, a lot of the uh, the real uh, crazy details are outside. The the one thing I guess that uh, that you guys may have missed here in the central area is a little bizarre section. Um, so we actually have like personal computers, a little bit of flex storage going on. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that in the future, personal computers are actually going to have a function. You know, I see the little mail icon on there now, and I'm thinking, yeah, one day I'm going to be able to click that and get my mail and, you know, all the other stuff. I do a little bit of meta. So I figured I might as well include that in the future in case the block functionality changes. I definitely uh, do my best to keep everything updated. Real smart. I do that with all my ships. Yeah, there's there's a couple versions of this saved actually. Some have more, uh, some have more detail, some have less. Uh, but in general, I try to make the, the whole thing look as functional as possible, uh, and also have uh, you know kind of keep true to the actual spirit of the existing stations. But yeah, um, it, it's actually uh, roughly the same size and weight class as the existing station. In fact, it's a little bit uh, less heavy on the resources. Uh, it tends to spawn in pretty much instantly when you uh, approach it. So uh, definitely would be a smaller option here. Yeah, I think the Viper might just be a little bit too big, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Um, I also did try and keep this thing open to modification as well, which, which was a really big one. Because, you know, that the minute somebody sees this thing spawned in, uh, if it ever does get to that point, people are going to want to build off of it. You know, so I was hoping that, you know, in, once again, in the spirit of the original station, you have these hangars that you could just go and extend. Make them, make them larger, or you can add a docking area up at the ring, you know, put your own interior in it, uh, cut off parts of the dome up top, various different things. So, definitely expandable, modular, um, and uh, designed to look really cool when uh, breakaway physics is implemented. So, 
eventually when you can cut stuff off of this, there's lots of little bits only attached by a few blocks. So you can run over this thing with missiles and just have debris everywhere. Like detailed debris. I gotta say though, I think my favorite feature is the radar dish. <laughs> If you haven't seen the radar dish, I think I'm going to call him Mr. Simmons. Don't take that as legitimate mana. It's against contest rule. It's just my mana. Well, the Viper almost fits. <laughs> almost. I think we might have to go and take a look at Skylord Luke's stuff in a minute. Hey, Skylord, are you ready to show us some stuff on the main server, are you, bud? If you want, Skylord, you're also more than welcome to join us on, uh, on this one. I think he might have just uploaded a okay. station, though. I don't know how. So there it is. Thanks for watching. There'll be much more coming up like this uh, in the next couple of days, I would expect. Or weeks. And uh, oh, yes. thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And that's a wrap.